Bullets belonging to the armed forces have been found on at least two murder scenes this week. Acting Police Commissioner McDonald Jacob confirmed this at a press conference this afternoon. And as the country recorded 20 murders in the last four days, police officers on leave have been summoned to return to duty. Otto Carrington tells us more in this report. Up to the time the press conference was called on Tuesday, six murders had been recorded overnight. In the last five days, police investigators have found spent bullet shells belonging to divisions of national security, including the regiment and air guard. It's something the acting commissioner of police says they're keeping their eyes on. What you have heard is in fact true. And we are dealing with the investigations concerning that. We cannot assume that is in fact police officers or defense force officers with some of the shells that we are finding and some of the crime scenes are actually involved directly. But there is some way that persons who are involved in criminal activities are getting access. While the increasing murders have many concerned, it's the brazenness of gunmen that have many shocked and scared. Acting Commissioner of Police MacDonald Jacobs says it's all hands on deck. We have no restricted leave for all police officers. And we have doubled up the manner in which officers are working in five police divisions. These divisions are the Western Division. Ported, Port of Spain Division, our Northeastern Division, Central Division, and Southern Division. The officers will be placed on 24-hour shifts and placed in public spaces where crime is surging. Already for the year, 364 murders have been recorded. 210 of the victims were between the ages of 16 and 34. The acting top cop said the police service is partnering with international agencies to combat illegal firearms. We have other aspects of work that we are doing with the alcohol, tobacco and firearm bureau. Where we do the tracing of firearms that are found and seized on our streets in Trinidad and Tobago. And in so doing, we have identified where the last transaction of the firearm took place. And I can call locations like Miami, Georgia, Baltimore, Texas. Jacob noted that for the year, the police service has seized over 61 high-powered rifles. Otto Carrington, CNC3 News.